Hello my fellow maniacs, 852 Maniac here today with a new Minecraft tutorial series. Um, Minecraft modding tutorial series. This is for a program called mCreator. It's kind of like the game maker of uh, Minecraft modding. You don't have to know any uh, coding knowledge at all. Um, I have to think. I, ah, I had to thank one of my uh, Twitter followers for, followers for linking me to a download for this. He showed me it. Um, I can't remember his name, so sorry, but you know who you are if you did. So now we're gonna go ahead and sh I'm gonna show you basically how to make your mod. Now um, to make a texture over here, if you just mouse over this way, you'll have a add texture, import MC skin 3D mob texture, run MC. And all this other stuff. Uh, basically, we're gonna go ahead and add a texture. I already added it, but uh, I'm just gonna show you how to. You go load image and go to wherever your uh, texture is located. Um, so let's go ahead and click it. Now I've already created it, like I said, so I'm not gonna actually make it. But you go use and item, enter a name, and press OK. But I've already have it, so like I said. So now let's go ahead and start this. Go add new mod. And we're gonna name this Ruby. And it's an item. And down here, this number, this is the item ID, but if you want it to automatically select it for you, just keep it at minus one. Oops, there we go. So as you can see, you got all this stuff that you can make. You can make a block, item, tool, food, armor, plant, mob, biome, achievement, TX block, which is like a torch, I think, I'm pretty sure recipe fuel and command I'm gonna be showing you how to make all these in this over this tutorial series so go ahead and press OK now we want to get our item texture now this this little thing will pop up window and then you find the texture that you made I made a ruby ore right here it is now you just click that and then down here at the bottom hit select and now item magic effect I'm not sure what that is right now don't know what that is so uh, I'll, I'll have to find out and I'll elaborate on that then go next name and GUI this is obviously the name and the GUI it's not that hard and Ruby and we want it in the material tab and then stack size 64 enchantability 0 max item use uses that usage we don't need that type of tool not tool one if not tool it's not a tool damage to mob zero item damage count zero we don't need any of this stuff for this let's go, go ahead and click nick that ah, click next man i'm just all tongue tied today sorry i'm a little sick i don't know if you can tell but uh so yeah so this is just special events i'll be going over this in another tutorial we don't need this right now because we don't have anything special for this but uh, let's go and click next again. Now here's the crafting recipe. Now we don't really need this right now because we're gonna be using this as a material, kind of like a diamond. Go ahead and press next. And now that we're done with that, click start test environment after creation. Hit finish, and I'm gonna let it load up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after it's done loading up, it should automatically start up Minecraft, a little fake Minecraft, just like it would in, e in Eclipse. Now let's go ahead and click single player, create a test world, test, and creative, allow cheats on, super flat, I like going overworld, and actually let me go ahead and go back, overworld, and delete all this stuff, because I don't like all the holes and everything it puts in the ground, let's go ahead and start it up, and create this world, I'm going to pause it while it loads up, Okay, so we are in Minecraft now. I might get a little bit of lag because I'm not on my good computer right now. It's kind of broke at the moment. But, uh, so now we go to the materials tab. Scroll down, and right there it is. There's our ruby. So now we got this, and we can throw it, and it'll do the spinny thing if you're on fancy. So now I'm going to go and show you how to make it ore, and then, yeah. Okay, so we're back in here. I already got the texture loaded in. Let's go ahead and go new mod. Um, make it name it Ruby or excuse me I got burp <laughs> sorry about that now we want to make it a block and 
minus one, just like we did for our other one. Now, in your in your block creator, you have all these different ones, so you can make each side of the block look different, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're just gonna keep it right here. So find your texture that you made, click on it, press select, and it'll go there, and then just do that over and over again until you have them all filled out or however you want it to look. Okay, so, um, <coughs> excuse me. So now we got our block made. You can go render type, and there's all these different ones that you can, uh, that you can make it. Like, you can make it look like a cross, tripwire, piston, glass pane, tripwire, hook, unused render type. There's all these kind, uh, uh, all these other kinds of render type. Now we're just going to keep it block. You can go texture and size. You can also do stuff down here. We'll be going over all this in another episode, one of these episodes. Go ahead and hit next, name and GUI, Ruby 4. Um, we're going to make it 5. Um, I'm not sure. I have. It's been a while since I made an ore, so it might be a little bit off, but <laughs> it don't matter. has gravity. If you click that, that means it's going to be like a sand. Now we want it to be in our block tab. We want a pickaxe to be able to break it. It doesn't drop itself, and we're going to have it drop our Ruby that didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Mod underscore ruby dot block. Okay. So we got our ruby or and all that. We want to drop one for right now. You can have whatever you want, but I want it to be one. It's kind of like a diamond. Isn't it collidable? Does it, it can't provide power. That's like a redstone torch or a redstone block. And the light opacity, that's like a glowstone block or lamp material we want to have the properties of iron um, and we want it to sound like stone when you step on it and luminance we don't need that and it isn't <laughs> and you can make it unbreakable so you can never break it harvest level to break I'm not too sure what that is but uh, I'll go over it and if I do if it is something important I'll come back and go over it let's go next tick rate normal we don't need to mess with any of this um, when block added da, 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 da. when block destroyed by player next um, world generation okay so here's so we want it to spawn from 128 all the way down to bottom actually let's go ahead and go yeah let's just keep it right there so it's easier to find so um Generate in world, yes. Generate in nether, no. You can make a nether ore if you want, but I don't really want to. We want to have it really frequent. Frequency on a specific chunk. There. And now let's go ahead and press next. Actually, let me go back here. Um, we don't need that. Yeah. So we're pretty much good right there. Press next. Start test environment after creation. And I'll be right back once it's all loaded up. Okay, so we're just going to go. On, oops. We're going to go into our test world. <clears throat> just to see if it works right now make sure it's in and then we'll go into a new generator world and see if we can find it naturally so let's go ahead and get rid of our ruby let's go and grab a pickaxe and now let's go up here just go all the way down right there it is our ruby ore let's go ahead and place some just randomly and now let's go slash game mode zero I think it is yep all right let's see all right so pretty good breaking speed drops our ore so that's pretty much pr pretty cool um in the next episode oh wait first we have to go see if we can find it naturally okay so let's see if we can we're just gonna dig down right here let's see if we can't find oh there we go so we got someone to go ahead and get a pickaxe so yeah so mess with the numbers the values of it and see what you can get you might be able to get the perfect number for it it just takes time and testing and however you want it you can make it extremely rare or <laughs> look at all this <laughs> so it's like coal but uh so in the next episode i'll be showing you how to make a how to make tools like pickaxe shovel swords and all that so thanks for watching comment favor and subscribe and don't forget to punch that like button in the face i'll see you guys next time